So I get many questions on how does a remote starter work for a manual transmission. This is my 2017 Subaru STI and I'm going to go over basically it's the same thing as an automatic except for when you need to get out of the car and you're done driving. It's what's called a reservation mode. So get into the car. Car starts normal. Get in there, you do what you gotta do. Go driving around. E brake down, drive around as normal. It's when you stop is what's put called reservation mode. Car's in neutral, you've come to complete stop. You pull up the e brake, you let off the brake. You may hear the remote starter brain click. When you take the key out of the ignition, the car is gonna continue to run. Out of the car and close the door. My car is set for after eight seconds, after all the doors, the last door has been closed, it will shut off. So after eight seconds, the car will shut down. And now the car is in reservation mode. This is the car. This is the remote brain saying, okay, everything is safe for me to start up when this person wants to start the car. So when you remote start it, it's going to remote start. The catch is if you unlock the door for some reason, need to get inside, it kicks it out of reservation mode. The car doesn't know if you've put it in gear while it's off and not running. So to put it back into reservation mode, you'll have to get back in the car, start it up, put the e-brake down, pull it back up with your brake on and go through the whole process again. That's how all manual transmissions work. It's a safety precaution and it's just how they work. I hope this video helped you guys out.